Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am talking to you guys about my favorite products for the month of May. It's already June. Oh my God. That's just, it's mind blowing to me how fast time flies all of a sudden now that I'm an adult. I feel like, you know, months would drag on end and now voila. Today we are talking about a whole bunch of different things, both. Hmm. We got makeup. Hair care, skin care, and we got some food. Sounds pretty legit. Okay, let's jump into this because I don't want this to be a 500 hour video. Let's do this. Let's start with makeup because a lot of this you're gonna see from my Sephora Rouge haul follow up video, which if you guys didn't see, right up there for y'all. So let's start with my go to mascara for basically what was the entire month of May the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This isn't absolutely amazing mascara. I don't I don't have any qualms with it. I think that the brush design is well done. It's got a nice curve to it that builds up your outer lashes perfectly for a nice flared look. It doesn't clump and it isn't too wet of a formula that it takes forever to dry and vice versa. It's not too dry of a formula that doesn't stick to your lashes properly. So this dude's a win. There's been tons and tons of videos all over YouTube talking about this when back when it launched and what February, March, maybe. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but yeah, I, I love this. I know tons of people who have used this and loved it. So yeah, I gotta stop clicking. Um, another thing that was also in that Rouge Fault video was this guy. The Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. And this is one of the new ones in the shade Fair Game. I bought this during the Rouge sale in April. I lost the one I bought during the first sale in April. I had to repurchase it because I loved it so much and I was heartbroken that I can't find it. I have no freaking clue where it went. None whatsoever. Um, this is just on me the most perfect natural nude shade and I see myself getting a lot of use out of this come fall especially because it's a slightly darker nude but not too dark that I can't pull it off, you know what I mean? So there's that. Plus, I love the Smashbox formula. The Smashbox formula is fantastic for liquid lipsticks. If you haven't tried it, I highly suggest you should. The next thing I have in here was not part of my Rouge haul video, but this is something that I've mentioned on my channel before, and they were obviously, since this is an eyeshadow palette, it was in my recent eyeshadow declutter video, which has hit over 5,000 views, which blows my mind. So if you guys didn't see that video, magically, if you're someone subscribed to my channel who hasn't seen that video, Right there, go check it out. Um, this is the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves palette. This is such a beautiful spring into summer palette. Um, it's very dirty, um, but I really love this palette. The only shade I don't use the most in here would have to be this last dark shade in here. However, these first three have lost half their design. <laughs> Um, but this is a great palette. I think any of the Dose of Colors palettes that are this style, the, you know, the baked browns and, um, there's a berry one and a, I don't remember the other one's name off the top of my head right now, but this guy, the bronzer that has been my hello for the past month has been this guy. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronzer in Fair to Light. If you guys didn't already see my first impressions where I talked about this product, it'll be linked up above for you guys. This is such a fantastic bronzer. It's only $28, which for a higher, I guess I would label Bare Minerals as a high-end brand that's in my mind there, bought at Sephora, therefore it registers that way in my mind. This is a $28 bronzer that I feel like is very, very comparable to the Hourglass Ambient Bronzing Powders. Um, it's got kind of that baked formula. It's got that nice satin overlay to it. And to be honest, it's it's so nice and subtle, especially, especially if you're someone who is really fair like I am. The fair to light shade is very easily buildable. So whether you don't have a tan and it's the middle of December or it's June, you're one of the magical fair people who can tan, which you deserve a round of applause. Um, this is a fantastic bronzer to try out. I think there's a total of three shades. I think there's fair to light, light to medium, and tan to deep. The next item I have for you guys is a highlighter. And again, the rouge video, man. These are like addictive crack. This is the NARS highlighter in the shade Forte de France. This is a freaking stunning highlight. 
like any brush. This is the brush that I used to put my highlight this morning. This is a Sigma Strobing F42 fan brush. I'm going to pick up some of this product right here. Like, look at that. Ooh, ooh. That glow right there versus this side, which is a little more subtle. This is just a gorgeous highlight. I purchased the lightest two in Capri and Fort de France. And no, I can't say Fort de France. It bothers me, so I have to call it a Fort de France. Um, this is, you know, I think the formula on this is so on point. It is perfectly buttery to the touch, but yet it's got this metallic glistening sheen to it that doesn't come off so strong that it can't be built up or toned down easily. Like there's just simple swipe, simple overlay, just like that. It is perfect. The next product I want to talk about is this. And this has been making the rounds on YouTube lately. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This is the powder because I'm currently in the middle of pre-filming a whole bunch of Foundation Frenzy videos, which will be going up at some time towards the end of June. Um, I haven't ironed that all out yet with dates, so you're going to have to stay tuned for that. Um, this has been the powder I've been using for that entire series so far, of which I think I've got four videos filmed so far at this point in my time. Um, it's about the... I got a week left in May at this point. Um, this stuff is just beautiful. <laughs> I haven't felt this happy about a powder since the Laura Mercier powder. Um, it distributes the perfect amount of product so you don't feel like you're wasting all your powder, which, no offense to Laura Mercier, but if you try and travel with that, you're gonna end up with a giant, the entire top section is gonna be filled with powder and you're gonna feel like you're wasting all of it. Um, this is nicely controlled so that you get a lot of powder to work with for your face, but not so much that it's getting everywhere and you're wasting half of it. Um, this is pricier because it is hourglass, but I, I've said it once. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I have yet to find an hourglass product that I didn't love. I've probably jinxed it now. I'm gonna find something I absolutely hate, but I don't hate this. I love this and I think everyone should try it. Um, I was using it when I had drier patches and now that I'm getting to summer, I'm definitely while well, I'm sweating all the time now, which is just freaking annoying. But um, my nose is starting to get to that oily stage in the summer, which is why I'm trying to get these videos pre-filmed for Foundation Frenzy. But this powder gives you a soft, luminous finish to your skin, which is just, yes. This is my last makeup product, and it kind of bridges into skincare, which is why I saved it for last. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I mentioned this in my Roundup favorites back from middle of April, I think, um, where I talked about uh, combining this with the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Well, this was the primer that I decided to select for my Foundation Frenzy series that I'm filming. So. This has been used quite a bit. Um, I just sloshed around so it's hard to tell. But he's already down to here and considering I haven't had this for very long, I'm kind of impressed that that much of it is gone already. This is just perfect. Um, typically starting in, you know, the end of middle end of June going into July, I don't really wear foundations unless it's like an actual event, um, which I don't currently have any of those that I'm attending, so I should be fine. Um, I tend to wear tinted moisturizers, uh, and I, I mean, if I had my favorite one, I'd probably be mentioning it right now, but I don't have it. I have to go purchase backup, um, or a repurchase amount. Um, but this is the perfect primer to pair with those, especially if you're someone who's on the drier spectrum of skin just because it's gonna hydrate your skin it's it's beautiful okay we're gonna move on really quickly to hair care just because i only have one item for hair care this is the way smooth spray i bought this back in the fall during the vib rouge sale and this is already this much gone i mean grand that was about six months ago so you know um but this is just fantastic um, I didn't use it. Ignore my hair now. I had to pull into a braid because I'm dying of a heat stroke in my apartment right now. Um, this stuff is fantastic. This stuff is amazing. If you have dry or damaged or color treated hair, meet your new best friend. He's really nice to spray on your hair after you get out of the shower. Trust me, I love it so much. Um, between this and my current hair care regime in general, um, it's not too far off of what I posted back in, what, 
February, which was my hair care video. I will list that up above. Um, this was mentioned in that video, if I remember correctly, but he's still a staple, and I wanted to let you guys know because he's starting to get empty. He'll probably be seen in empties video in the near future since he's only got about a third of the bottle left. The next thing I want to bring to y'all's attention is this. My Foreo. Um, I do not remember which size of this this is. I want to say this is the Mini 2.0. He's so fun. I love this guy, and especially now that my dry patches aren't quite as intense as they are during the winter and early spring, now's the time that I start to crack out my Ferreo a little bit more than my Clarisonic. I still use my Clarisonic, and I always use it because I love my Clarisonic. But this, for the morning, I switch over to this in the morning to cleanse my face. This is just a little bit more gentle on my face first thing in the morning, whereas I prefer to use the Clarisonic in evening because it's a little bit more intense on my skin, and it just tends to clear out all the dirt and grime from the day just that little bit more. Using this first thing in the morning to wash my face is just a godsend and it helped crack. I, I keep turning it on. Um, I do wish, uh, maybe in the future when this eventually dies, I'll buy the longer one, the one that's like this tall. Um, just because even with my tiny hands, this is a little hard to hold on to and you do kind of have to like hold it like that, which kind of defeats the purpose because you're kind of controlling it too much. But um, I love that it's also dual sided so you've got the stiffer bristles on the back here as opposed to the flimsier tiny ones on the front. The next skincare item is the one that I've been using to remove my makeup lately and it's this guy. This is a small size of the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. <gasps> I got it. <laughs> um, this is just fantastic. Um, put it on your face. Massage it in for a few seconds. Rinse it off. It takes things off. Sometimes I will say it struggles a little bit with some mascaras. Um, depends on the formula probably. But other than that, it does take everything off. And it's really gentle. And I actually really like the smell of this. Yeah. Um, I have to remember. Um, my only problem is this cap doesn't really stick on very well. Like it does just kind of slide off. So my concern would be trying to travel with this. That if the cap pops off, this doesn't have a lock right here. So you might be a little screwed, so keep that in mind, but I do love this product. Something that has been a staple in my skincare collection for a thousand and one years, and I mentioned it a lot during my Drunk Elephant review that I did recently, and it's this guy. This is the Kate Zone Real Exfolicate Daily Cleansing Cleanser. I will never buy another cleanser. <laughs> this is my holy grail skincare item, this guy right here. Kate Snowball. It's not just because my name is Kate. I promise you guys. It's not like they sent it to, this to me. When when I worked at Sephora, the first, actually, before I worked at Sephora, the first cleanser I ever bought was the Kate Snowball Detox Cleanser, which came with a little, like, twisty cap, and you would squeeze out the product. It would come out of a little hole in the top right here. I loved that stuff. But then when I realized that my skin wasn't really oily because I thought it was because I was stupid and it was summer and I confused sweat with oil and it's not the same thing. Um, I was like, you know what? I wish that they had a different one of these cleansers because the other one at the time, the foaming one was just too much foam for my liking. Um, and then right after I, right when I started working, it's where they launched this and I purchased it and I've been buying it for three years now, two and a half years, somewhere around there, because I started in June in Sephora back in 2015. So three years now almost that I've been using this cleanser. I keep repurchasing it. I think this is maybe my third or fourth bottle of this. But this stuff is amazing. It's safe to use three times, three times a day. Two times a day. I don't regret it. It is a more expensive cleanser. I believe it retails for $38, maybe $36 or $40, but somewhere in that high 30s range. Um, but again, I think it's totally worth the money. Um, a lot of the stuff from Kate Snowball I'm a huge fan of, so there's not very much of it that I wouldn't buy, to be honest. Another staple of mine that, I don't know if they even still sell these anymore. This is the Ula Henriksen Nurture Me Facial Water. This is made with cucumber, chamomile, and pro vitamin B5. This is just a really nice facial spray. This just rehydrates, revamps, revitalizes your skin, makes you feel so, whoa, I am so dewy now. What up? This stuff's just amazing. They do make different versions. There's ones for oily skin, ones for dehydrated, all in between. These are amazing. These are great. They can be used as both setting sprays, like I just did now, like touch-up sprays, or you can use them as primers as well. Okay, guys, last skincare item, and it's this guy, the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. This is amazing. It does have kind of a strongish, strongish. It does have a scent. 
I think it's nice. It's kind of citrusy going. Um, it obviously says on here it's got ginger and other things in it. But I love using this guy at the start of my day. So after I've cleansed my face with my Foreo, I go in with just one drop of this all over my face. I kind of avoid my nose now at this time of year because I don't want to overactivate the oils in my nose. But I'll especially do it along my jawline, um, my, the edges of my forehead, a little bit on my cheeks here just to add that. That little shine going on right there. Um, so this is fantastic. Um, I hadn't tried very many Kiehl's products before I did the Rouge sale, and now I'm definitely, definitely interested in getting to try out more. I'm super excited to see what else is in the Kiehl's line in general. Okay, guys, so the last two things I want to talk to you guys about are not beauty related. Um, the first thing is this. This is a tea. Yes, it's a tea. This is the Celestial Cunt Celestial Seasonings Country Peach Passion. Um, Camille with peach and citrus in it. Um, it comes with a whole bunch of bags. Um, these are amazing. Um, I've tried a few of the Celestial Teas in the past. This is an herbal tea, obviously. Um, it's, you know, it's caffeine-free, gluten-free, if that matters to you. I mean, it's tea. Oh, 20. There it is. I was looking to see how many bags went. 20 bags in here. And I want to say these retail for like 7 bucks or something like that. Um, I bought this at Jewel Osco. I suppose you could buy it at like Target or something. I don't know. Um, but I love these. I've actually taken half of these out. And they're sitting on my desk at work so I can make tea throughout the day at work as well. But yeah, I love these guys. I love how they taste. I just add a little dash of honey into it just to sweeten. Because I always do that in all my tea. It's my inner singer. I always have to put honey in my tea. So, yeah. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is this. This is the Vega Protein and Greens Coconut Almond Flavored, um, you know, um, like mix, like power mix. Um, it's, it says in here there's like 18 servings. There's way more than 18 servings in here. Um, this is what I've been putting in my smoothies in the morning. So when I get up in the morning, I'll make a smoothie of some kind using, I've got, I don't have fresh vegetables right now, vegetables and fruits. I've got frozen ones um, that I take out of the pack. I will let them thaw for uh, like two minutes or so. And then I will pop them in my, I have a magic bullet that I use to blend. I'll take a scoop of this, um, add some of my almond milk, that I use in the morning and then, um, you know, mix together whatever I've got. Ice, it depends on what I'm putting in it, you know? Um, but these are just fantastic because in this, I mean, I do this for the protein because I'm trying to get better with healthier living, healthier dieting. I'm trying to change my diet. Um, trying to inspire myself a little bit at a time. This guy does include 29% of your daily protein, um, which for me, when I can struggle to get my protein sometimes, this is great. It's also got a little bump of iron in there and I am slightly anemic. So this is fantastic. I mean, they come with little recipes on the top. I do also have a vanilla one. I'm not a chocolate person, so I don't have the chocolate one, but I know that there's one of those. And I believe there's also strawberry as well, as I'm, if I'm correct. And with that, that is all of my current May favorites, things I've been using and loving a lot for the past month. It's been a crazy month with the move, with all the declutter videos. Um, to be honest, I spent about a week and a half period where I wasn't putting on any makeup because I had videos pre-filmed and it wasn't a priority. So yeah, not as many items this month. June's probably gonna have a whole bunch. So as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And also while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss every time I upload a video. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I've gotten so good at saying that. <laughs> if you wanna follow me outside of YouTube, please feel free. You can find me at kobeauty58 on both Instagram and Twitter. Um, I've been trying to post more to Instagram trying to get back into it guys um what else Ooh, leave me a comment down below of your go-to summer drink i don't mean like starbucks but i mean if you like starbucks i'm okay with that too but like iced tea recipes smoothie recipes anything like that that's a drink that you love to drink alcoholic is also very welcomed um you can leave those for me down below i like hearing people's favorite things a couple people commented on recent videos i kind of like to leave one of these on every video I don't know why, but I like, that was a really loud knuckle crack. I'm sorry. Leave me your favorite drink for summer down below. 
And I want to, once again, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video.